Hello and welcome to round one. Uh, we have lost the die roll, likely going on the draw. How do I feel about this hand? Pretty darn gone good. We've got all of our colors of mana. We've got an early night howler, which is not actually a thing, but we can vendetta something if we've got a problem. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Like, as far as these things go. And even something else to play? Like, I'll probably run out the ranger first, but... Ramp is what we want to do. That is an unusual play. Um, and it changes my mind to go to the Charcoal Diamond so that I can potentially kill it and then play Mirari next turn. Or not Mirari, Miri. Oh, this enters the battlefield tapped, doesn't it? Well, we've, we've made our decision. If I was going to Vendetta it, I should have done it then. I can always play her and plan to block, or just play the Ranger in Vendetta next turn. If he's going to invest all that in it, that's probably exactly what we're doing. Plus it pumps up our Night Howler. Ooh, Gliss is going to be good too. But if our Ranger in Vendetta, we're pretty happy. I do need um, double green for this. Also need blue for Thrax and Mundar, but Thrax isn't coming for a while, so I think I just get a forest here and then Vendetta that so I don't have to deal with it. And then next turn I can play Glissa and take out any other equipments they have. That's That's got to be fine. That's got to be fine. It makes sure we hit our land drop next turn, and we're playing a long game deck here anyway. Let's do that. Let's grab us another forest. If they play a threat, um, we'll play Glissa so we can get the Bassless Collar off. And if they don't, we'll just play Mirari and start bringing the pain. Alright, that doesn't do anything. So Mirari bringing the pain, it is. This will add up relatively quickly. Starting to wish we'd gotten the um, blue, though, because Thrax would look pretty good if we can keep their board controlled, but hmm, here we are. Anything they play is going to be huge, but... I misunderstood Mirari, obviously. It's not when it deals damage to a creature. That's what vampires do these days. I'm still fairly happy with a 3-2 flyer to finish a game. But for some reason, I thought she worked a little differently. Toxic Deluge. Okay. They basically just got our um, Mirari because the Ranger did what it did. So I can get Sylvan Bounty down now or get uh, Glissa down now. I'm kind of tempted to do the Sylvan Bounty, but Glissa, Glissa just gets answered, and the Bounty gives me more stuff to do. It gives me more options. It kind of builds us an instant board state, because I cast Glissa and she's going to come with a beast friend. And we're going to gain some life. Let's do all the things. So Island is a good draw. Another one of our mana fetchers is a good draw. This is currently plus three, plus three, right? It's got one, two, three things in graveyards. So they can make that pretty big. And um, we can burn it away pretty easily. 
which is probably what we want to do. And we can make one of our things absolutely huge. Yeah, this just looks like a good turn to be attacking. I think I want to pop the Basilisk Collar rather than attack with Glissa. So I'm going to give them the opportunity to do something stupid here. The Burn Away hurts a little bit. It's kind of a nombo with our Night Howler, but we'll take it. I'll let him attack in if that's what he wants to do. That's fine. Just do it now. Like, What's he going to have that makes this bad? Uh, let's see, that's enough to point this. And then enough to burn this. And enough. I yeah, I'm I'm missing damage left and right. I'm a noob. Legendary cube is fun. I'd rather make this big because most of the removal is either targeted at legendary creatures or can kill an X2. So why not just get all of this done? Did I not let this resolve yet? Oh gosh, that's so bad. I just did all the things in the wrong order. <laughs> oh, welcome to cube. Yeah, I used the mana before the ability resolved. And it's converted mana cost is equal. So yeah, okay. We're we're learning how to play magic badly today. I can tell you what just about every card in Oath of the Gatewatch does, uh, but this is my first time playing with Glissa Sunseeker. It looks good. But you do need to read the cards to figure out what they do. Because basically I elected not to destroy my opponent's artifact and to hit them for three less damage than I could have. That was dumb. So it's got to be equal to the amount you control. This is good to know. And we have nerfed this down to a plus two, plus two. That, that's, that's why I like to draft a synergistic deck. Um, because it, it just lets you do more stuff. So I guess I probably do that and get a land. And we're certainly attacking. And I'm certainly going to blow up their thing this turn. But we'll go ahead and go in for the six. I could have hit for more damage here. Alright, let's see if I can actually manage to do this this turn. Let's blow up your thing. Yay! I figured out how to play a card. I could cast the Night Howler too. As just another dude. But I've kind of got enough dudes. Yeah, I don't think we need to cast anything else here because they're just dead next turn to what we have on board. They were probably dead like four turns ago if I'd just cast my spells correctly. How did I still not destroy that? Because it's one. My god, Travis. I've just done everything I possibly can to not destroy that damn Bastless car. <laughs> Glissa, please. What are you doing? All right, we start with Thrax. Oh God, this is so embarrassing. Don't don't tell your friends what happened to me. It's so bad. We've tried so hard to destroy that Basilisk collar, but it just won't go down. All right. Turns out you not only have to read your own cards, you have to read your opponent's cards? Which seems really weird to me. Oh my god, it has haste! Alright, I'm, I'm going to end this game so that we can be done here. Because I'm, I'm just tired of being embarrassed. Like, I'm just electing not to do all of the things. Yeah, like, 
Hey, take an extra five turns. All right, gosh. Whew. All right, let's read our cards and read our opponent's cards. They're doing some sort of control shenanigans, which is fine, which is fine. And we're doing everything we can to screw up and let them win. <laughs> oh, I don't really understand the Isamaru thing. Like, we could consider something like this to kill a thing, but... Meh. Like, empty the catacombs could be neat if we're going to burn away, but I, I think we just run this back and then make a real effort to read the cards that we have. And not to just throw them away for no reason. This is what happens when I draft Legendary Cube. You have been warned. Everything is okay because we have that Farhaven Elf, right? Right? Not really. So what is this hand looking to do? Ah, it's a slow format. I'll keep it. This hand is not great, but the Elf plus the DC could be good, and we should draw a Black Source at some point. Of course, it's Amaru. We're just going to probably die to that. Not really. But it is a thing that could happen. I guess that's why you play it, because sometimes you can just get in a million damage with it. Well, that helps. It doesn't mean that we can play Mirari to block if that's what we got to do. Or burn that little puppy away if we got to. I don't think we're in Farhaven Elf Chump mode just yet, but we could be. Uh, we'll get a Swamp. Alright, you got your counter. Yeah, I certainly don't want to jump that. Because we've got Sadisi coming up next. And she can make better use of it. And she does a pretty good job of holding back Isumaru as well as everything else on the planet. I think I know what my cards do this time, but I'm not entirely sure. Alright, this just starts making an absurd amount of creatures, right? Yeah. So that's something we will need to kill at some point. That point is not right now. Ah, uh, because we go on Sadisi. Alright, and I've got six mana. What one card would I like out of my deck? Um, I've got enough to dregs for two? One, one, two, three, four, five. I've got enough to dregs for one. So I can kill that. I can get Glissa and not do the right thing with it and lose. I can get Thrax. I think I really just want dregs, because even if I end up dregsing for one and just taking that out, it's kind of okay. And I've got burn away if I want it. Yeah, so I can burn away next turn and then potentially dregs away more stuff. I think dregs is just what I want, although Pilgrim's Eye would be nice too. Like being able to play Primeval Bounty is going to be good, but I, I can already do that. Yeah, I'm going to take drags. It takes some thought, but I think it's worth doing. Because, like, if I have to, I can play this tapped and burn away something. We can do stuff and things. That's all I'm saying. Staff of Domination. All right.
Zendikar Resurgent, you say. Like, this seems like a decent turn to take off and slam the Primeval of a Bounty. Although I could also just play Mirari. This is four mana tap a creature, so I'm, I'm not Mirari. Yeah, Mir, Miriri. Mi, Miri. Miriri? The Vampire Cat. So I could do that. I probably want to be able to block something. Taking damage is probably relevant. Like, slamming the bounty means I'm just taking three damage. That doesn't actually do much. I'd be taking five, actually. Okay, let's play this tapped. Play Miri. And I think with the dregs and the primeval bounty in hand, we can actually start attacking with her. Because if they want to spend all their mana to get in three points of damage, that's fine. We'll just swing back for more. And then we can potentially untap. Like, if we hit a land, things are in business. Can you imagine Zendikar's Resurgent into Dregs of Sorrow? That seems good. But Flying Cat Vampires, that also seems good. Dregs wombo combo with our Night Howler. Oh god, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna have all the mana. We're gonna blow up all the things. I'm so excited to blow up all the things. Alright, Ranger gets us there. I can play Ranger, make a land drop, have Burn Away up. So I think we move to combat, see if they want to tap something. They don't. They're either going to make dudes or start using this, which is fine. Which is fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We just need a couple turns. A couple turns. Let's get in there with Miri. Let's play our Ranger. Getting red because we don't have double red for the Thunder Break yet. So our opponent can tap this or make a dude. Or draw a card. That's even better. So with that out of the way, do we want to just nail this now? I don't think so when I'm about to untap with a bazillion mana, but I'm, it's so safe. Like, I just slammed the Zendikar's Resurgent next turn. Yeah, this is this is too temp tempting a target. I want to get this out of my hand anyway. Take care of something that they can't deal with, or that I can't deal with. And then now they need a board wipe, or they're done. And if they wipe the board, we just slam Resurgent and machine gun down their stuff after playing a primeval bounty. So good. There you go. You did it. You did the thing. I'm even going to save this for life. Because next turn we can go into Primeval Bounty. This is also going to be pretty big. One, two, three, four, five. It's a five, five. Or plus five, plus five. Oh, I said I was going to save up for the bounty and I didn't. Oh, what a noob. What a noob. So let's get Sadisi down. You guys should understand by now that I'm I'm going to make plenty of mistakes when we play. Let's play this and then prime play the primeval bounty, then the Sadisi. 
and then we'll just start making infinity board states. I do still have green here if I need it. Yeah, and I'm not going to... Well, I guess I could need more blue if I draw exactly Thrax. So, okay, both of those produce black. We'll use the black. Let's draw cards, make elephants, make zombies. Do all the things. Look at all those things that I did. So this is four to bestow. I could go ahead and put it here. And also make the zombie huge. And like now you have to deal with that. And if you do, I've got this big giant night howler that can attack you. I'm doing that because my opponent has to sorcery speed remove this guy. I guess they could have an instant into a sorcery speed removal, but I still feel like I'm winning. I could be crazy, but what are they going to do? There's too many interactions. And this is, I think, why I don't play Commander more than I do. Like, I play casually with Derek, Tom, and Archie. But there's so many interactions. I'm used to just casting tutus and combat tricks. Like, that's that's what I want to be doing. Okay. Let's gain some life. Make a dude, draw some cards. I don't even have to do that. Make this a 9-9. Nine, nine. I can hit him down to 1 if I want to cast my Dregs of Sorrow on my own thing. But I don't really think I need to do that. I guess it's not one, it's two, but you get the picture. The old Isamaru Hollowed Burial Blasphemous Act deck. Of course I should la I should make fun of my opponent's deck after all of the misplays I've done here. <laughs> oh. That bassless collar will be the end of me. I can't wait to see the comments for this one. But guys, we're just having fun here. It's Cube. Don't don't be too merciless in your stopped watching at 2.45 when... <laughs> Those are my favorite YouTube hate comments. So Wrath or Die. Okay, I'll, I'll at least give my opponent that was a classy way to go out. That was a classy way to go out. Okay, cool. Thanks for tuning in. Surprisingly, uh, despite my best efforts, we are going to round two. I will see you there.